Hi, this is Baby Shark. I'm watching a replay of a game on the map Grand of War. I'm gonna talk yes, my lord. You through the game. This is intended for new players to kind of get a feel for the game. So the first thing you want to do is build your hall as close as you can get to the gold mine. It is the gold mine here. You can't quite see it, but you can see the um, bottom part of it. Because your peons have to make the trip to and back from the gold mine, collecting oh, gold. Guns. And at first, the great hall is your oh, only man. option for a building. Um, the hotkeys are B, H. You have to click on your peon and press B, H. The only other option after yes, that is Lord. farm. Unless you build a second hall, which is not a good move. You need to build a farm after that so you can make more peons. And then you want to continue to make more farms and more peons. Each farm supports four peons. The hall supports one. So you can see uh, four plus one is five. And you have four peons here right now. One is building a barracks. A barracks is the uh, basic military building where you make attacking units from. So you can see that farms are being continually built. Um, now it's time to start gathering gold. So you can afford to make more things. And the blacksmith is where you upgrade your weapons at. You also need a blacksmith to upgrade the town hall to a keep. Or if you're orc, you need to have it to upgrade the stronghold. You upgrade your weapons in there. And you also need it in order to make knights or ogres. Awaiting orders. So this um, yellow is playing with the human race, which is the weaker race because it does not have bloodlust, like the orcs have. So you can see early in the game, yellow is going scouting. That means he's sending his footmen to explore the map and find out where the enemy is and is Awaiting not. Orders. Ready to serve. The enemy over here is at the position called Work S5 completed. and has that walled in here. Awaiting so orders. Done. Ready to yes, me, Lord. This is the 2 o'clock position on this map. If you're looking at it like it's a clock. So it's 12 o'clock up here. Awaiting oh orders. Ready to 6 o'clock is down here. Oh, ready to now yes, this sire? is what's called a choke. These footmen are yes, on T or stand ground. Um, which means order. that they have to stay in position here. If somebody attacks, they won't start chasing the grunt or footman Ready that's attacking. They'll hold position so that enemy enemy grunts can't get through. Um, and here there's room for three God, attacking God, four Messiah. so that gives the four the your advantage command. and makes it um, an effective way to wall off the base so that your enemy can't just come in and kill all your stuff. God, God. The town is under attack. Ready to work. So as the okay. barracks is being attacked the peon has to come and repair it. which costs resources. With each stroke of the axe, it costs gold and wood. So Yellow's now sending, he sees that, okay, he's walled, the other person is walled in, so he's sending more footmen to attack. The catapult has quite a bit of range, so it can pick off some of those. So he's moving over because it'll take the catapult a little bit of time to move over from here because catapults are kind of slow. Peons are repairing this because purple does not want yeah. yellow to get in there. Because if yellow gets in there with those grunts, purple is dead. So here's a stray farm. So yellow's taking this opportunity to get rid of that farm and set purple back in a food space. At your mm -hmm. service. And you can see now purple has more units than farms, so that's going to slow them down a little bit. As you wish. The town is under attack. 
He's continuing to kind of pester and harass Purple to keep Purple occupied. Slow him down. Now he's going for a second Verat and has upgraded to keep and is getting a stables for making knights. Purple's a little bit behind, has not finished upgrading the stronghold yet. So there's a second catapult inside that purple base now. Yes, sire. Yes, me lord. A third barracks has been created by yellow, and as you can see, the farms are continually being produced so that the economy can be grown and there are more peons to collect more gold and more lumber throughout the game. And now the keep is being upgraded to a castle. So the three buildings that you need, in addition to the barracks, you need the barracks, and then you also need blacksmith, lumber mill, and stables. So these are level 5 knights being um, produced from these barracks. Now it would be good for Yellow to continue scouting so that this kind of thing can't happen. Purple has um, started mining at 5 and Ready Yellow to doesn't have that scout anymore. So he does not know that's happening. Now this one is a relatively small gold mine and it's almost out. But this is a bigger one here. The Altar of Storms is being repaired at Purple Space. Yellow has a mage coming, which I think he expects this to be an instant crushing blow to Purple, killing all the peons and probably breaking into the base. Work complete. Ready to work. We're ready, Master. So the mage could easily take care of all of, all of these peons and ruin ready the economy. Ready to work. Yes, my lord. But I think Yellow thinks that purple is sealed it like walled in at this point and doesn't realize that this vibe is happening. Completed. So that the peons are all gonna die. Now here's, he's taking an expansion up here at 12. Ready this mine is almost ready over. Serve, serve, when you have about 10k in your current mine, um, you should definitely expand right away. Right. You, you can even expand sooner if you can. Here's a second expansion starting at the ready 11 o'clock position. So the mage was destroyed by catapult. Right now. All right. So the lust is finished upgrading. Ready to work. Ready to work. The purple doesn't have quite very many ogres. Now this is probably unexpected. Purple is gonna go hit at home over here. Work completed. And there's kind of a big wide opening here to get in. Yes, my lord. Sire. Your majesty. Job's done. Yes, my lord. Job's done. Now a common expansion, if you're here, would be to start chopping behind Job's here done, and sir. take this expansion. But Your that request. is not 
what Come Purple on, did in this case. Bruce purple went to five. So now he sees, okay, Ready to this one was not being chopped to from here. And now there's less in the home base over here. We are under attack. So he had some knights ready to go. Purple should relust. Lust gives the ogres quite a bit more power. So the lusted ogres are significantly stronger than the knights, which is why the orc is the most commonly chosen race. Okay, so now five has been scouted. So these knights are about to go hit over here at five. So this is called a choke. There's two hitting one knight that can fit in between these barracks. And then it's going to be reinforced with a tower. Yellow also made it into purple over here. Got those catapults and a lot of peons. Okay, there was a hole in here. The yellow things got in. That's not good for purple. So 11 o'clock has been scouted by purple. Okay. Who summoned me? We are under attack. Ready to serve. Ready to work. Ready to serve. Job's done. So taking out the blacksmith stops the enemy's production of knights, but it doesn't look like it is going to be completely destroyed with that hit. Ready to serve. The stables actually has fewer hit points, so it would have been a better target. So now the tower and the gold flow here are getting destroyed. And once the gold flow of purple is gone and work completed. We are under attack. And yellow has multiple expansions already. Ready to work. Um, we are under attack. Yellow is going to still be ahead because yellow is mining gold in two places and purple is barely mining anything and is being blizzed again. This mage should have been killed Im immediately instead of these ogres just waiting around. These ogres are dying. Yellow is losing some things, but because he has two two expansions here, solid, he's going to um, be making a lot more resources than purple right now.
He already has remade the stables and the blacksmith here. Even though he lost his castle, he was able to get those. To keep himself from having to recreate the stables. I mean, to re-upgrade re in order to recreate the stables. Because if you lose your castle and you lose your stable, then you have to upgrade to stronghold or keep again, and then you have to rebuild the stable, which takes a lot more time and resources than if you were able to rebuild the stable before you lost your castle or stronghold or keep. But some key points to keep in mind when you're playing is you want to be keeping your economy, you want to keep up lumber production and gold production because you always need to um, be paying for every unit that you make. So um, an ogre costs 800 gold, 100 wood or lumber, so you need to constantly be bringing in lumber, bringing in gold so that you can make units. And you want to be watching your farm space so that you don't run out of farm space, you want to be having those farms ahead of time ready to go so that you don't get the message not enough farms build more farms um, you want to keep scouting you want to find out what your enemy is doing you want to um, plan your attacks so that you're dealing with whatever your enemy has so if you need to kill a tower then you should have magic or catapult if it's earlier game sappers can also work to get through if you have a walled enemy. So yellow has a much more solid economy now. Still mining from two places and purple is hardly mining. Well purple is now mining, mining from one. But it's still taking down some of these farms. So instead of letting those ogres die, he pulled them back so that they didn't die, and then is going to take out a farm that is just over here. And these farms are being taken out as well. Now purple's gone over to expand into the 9 o'clock position. Everybody keeps pausing the game. So yellow's here controlling this expansion, which is kind of the natural next expansion over here. Alright, now 9, nine o'clock has been scouting. So it's good and important to continue to scout what your enemy is doing so that you can catch the expansions before they get strong. And before they're walled off with cannon tower and magic behind them. Because they're easier to kill before they have all kinds of defense. So now yellow has production going strong okay. again. Lots of knights being produced. Okay. So now he was able to stop the killing of his farms and save these remaining farms. Now purple is going over to try to save the 9 o'clock expansion. but does not have a lot of trees being chopped right now. I only see one chopper from purple, which isn't really quite enough to be producing from three barracks over. Oh, there's another one. This was probably spreading out themselves too thin, trying to take the 8 o'clock as well as the 9, nine o'clock probably would have been good to focus on focus on one of them 
especially with lumber so low. Ready to and work. now it was already discovered. another huge swarm of knights heading over towards the nine o'clock ready to work ready to work ready to work sorry for the interruption um, there is a huge swarm of knights finishing off the 9 o'clock expansion, which is now the last expansion Purple has, so Purple is pretty well doomed here. And these three ogres are not going to be able to save that. Five ogres. And only three of them got busted. Even if they all five had been, it wouldn't have been enough. So Yellow did a pretty good job defending these expansions, having these, um, the walls, chokes, towers. Purple still has no, no gold happening at all, so... Yellow just has to clean it up. Lusted. If had those ogres been lusted in time, they would have been able to probably take care of those knights. And now this expansion is in trouble. There's some more ogres coming to save the day. Purple has one shaky last stand, but it's not going to be enough with the economy Yellow has built already. And Yellow has every gold mine being patrolled, preventing Purple from taking any secret expansions. So Yellow has... Yes. Yellow already had the game a while back, but Purple is just holding on. Probably not realizing quite um, how bad the situation is. Hopefully Purple's gonna leave the game soon. So wave one of Knights was beat, but there are more and more and more coming. Yeah. 
purple is trying to wall this off, but this thing is not going to hold. It doesn't even have any repairmen. So yeah, there's a kind of a walkthrough of a somewhat typical game of Warcraft 2. Thanks for watching.